guys this is Sean Nir from 24-7 Techie and in this video we will try to find out which phone has the best camera under 20,000 rupees. So we will be comparing Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Realme 6 Pro, Poco X2. These are the three phones which are direct competitors to each other under 20,000 rupees price point. And we will also be putting in Redmi Note 9 Pro in this comparison to know which one is better Redmi Note 9 Pro or Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. But this is uh, up for a comparison to find out which smartphone camera is best under 20,000 rupees. First of all, let's talk about the specs of the devices. Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Realme 6 Pro comes with both 64 megapixel Samsung GW1 sensor. Whereas the Poco X2 comes with 64 megapixel Sony IMX686 sensor. And the Redmi Note 9 Pro comes with a 48 megapixel Samsung GM2 sensor. And except for Poco X2, all three phones are running on Snapdragon 720G and the Poco X2 is running on Snapdragon 730G. And ISP on all four phones are pretty similar, so it is a very even competition. So let's start with the comparison. In the first image, we notice that the color of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is not that great. Be it the greenery in the front or the buildings in the back. We will zoom in to see more details and we notice that Poco is performing the best in the details and dynamic range. The Realme 6 Pro is a very close second and surprisingly Redmi Note 9 Pro is performing better than Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Moving on to the next image where we see that Realme 6 Pro has handled the shadows and the highlights the best. Poco is also performing very close to it but Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is just disappointing. And in this one also Realme 6 Pro is performing best where we see the maximum amount of highlight retention that Realme 6 Pro has done. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is uh, very close second. Poco is also very close second so it's sort of a tie between that but uh, the max is uh, just overblown. And in this one the Redmi Note 9 Pro is performing the best. Look at the black background behind the camera and that is where we see the major difference where the Redmi Note 9 Pro has kept the black color as black color. But we see the Realme 6 Pro which has tried to brought in green color inside that black background. So this photo is the most challenging photo in this video. That is because the background of the subject is very bright. So the camera has to prioritize between the background and the foreground. I want the foreground to be visible but I don't want the background to be overexposed. So I have also added ISO details of each of the camera at the right bottom of each photo. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is just out of the moon, 3200 ISO is not at all acceptable. Whereas the Poco is performing in less than half which is 1285 ISO and we do see clear difference. And we see that Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has an overblown couch whereas the Poco we can even see a little bit of uh, trees in the background from the window. So this is the major difference between these phones. The Realme 6 Pro is also performing very well. We can also see a little bit of uh, greenery in the background. We can see greenery in the Poco X2. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is okayish, but the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is just bad. And in this one, the Poco messes up very bad. So I did take a couple of images to actually check if it's just a one-time thing or Poco has actually messed up. But Poco, I don't know what happened with Poco but Poco messed up with this one where the other three phones are able to bring in details from the cup and from the background. But Poco is only bringing the details from the cup and the background is overblown. The Realme 6 Pro is performing the best with the skies a little bit blue and maintaining the other details but Poco is losing in this one. In this one, the Redmi Note 9 Pro messes up with the white balance. Zooming in, we see that details are maximum on Poco. And in this shot of the car, we do see that the Max has uh, again uh, overblown everything. So the white is a little bit over white and the background building is also not looking good. Whereas the Realme 6 Pro and Poco X2 are performing well. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is also performing very good. But Poco in this comparison has the best image and very close Realme 6 Pro and then Note 9 Pro and then Note 9 Pro Max. And here are some more comparisons without me blabbering. And here are some wide angle shots from all four phones which are pretty similar so I have not compared it. I've just kept it on the screen. You can have a look, you can pause, you can zoom in and do everything but I'm not comparing it because the wide angle on these phones are okay.
So to conclude this video, we can definitely say that Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is absolutely useless. It loses from uh, every phone in this competition most of the time. There were a couple of instances when it was not last, but it was not first any of the time. Redmi Note 9 Pro is outperforming it sometimes. Realme 6 Pro and Poco X2 are taking much better images in almost all comparisons. The real sub 20,000 rupees camera competition is between these two phones and I will go with the Poco X2 because of the IMX 686. We did this competition a couple of months ago where the Realme 6 Pro took a little bit better images but IMX 686 is getting better. With a lot more software updates, Xiaomi is actually fixing a lot of things over here. It is actually performing much better when it compares to any of these sensors in this market in this price point so imx 686 is better than the samsung sensor and samsung 48 megapixel sensor and any other sensor that you talk about in this price point so i will be choosing poco x2 in this camera comparison as the winner or uh, close first close second this is sort of a tie a little bit of a tie because both of them perform very well i will choose 686 because i have a little bit more expectations from the 686 but Realme is also doing a very good job. So it's a tie between first and second. I will choose this personally. You can go with any one of these. I don't have a problem with that. It's your decision. I will suggest you any one of these two. The price point of these two devices are pretty same. So it's up to you. So thank you very much guys for watching this video and do let me know in the comments below on which photo you like better and if uh, what else you would like to see in the comparison and all that stuff. You might notice that Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is not over here on the table because a couple of shots are being taken uh, for the next video. Uh, it's actually a charging comparison, charging test video. I don't know which video will be published first. So that's why it's not over here. A lot of things are going on. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Do let me know in the comments below which one you like the most. I will suggest Poco, but it's your decision. Let me know why you choose any other phone or why you choose Poco. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because subscribing is a helpful thing and hit that bell icon. Like this video if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Till then, see ya.